have you so today in this video i will tell you about bankers algorithm so we will go through this timeline so first of all so, we will see the definition of bankers algorithm then what are the data structures that are needed then advantages and disadvantages of bankers algorithm then in safety algorithm steps to find safe sequence then resource request algorithm and steps to check whether we can allocate the requested resource to process or not then we'll see an example example to find save sequence and granting request and then we will write a program find save sequence and granting request by bankers algorithm we will write that code in code blocks so let us start first of all let us see the definition of bankers algorithm Bankers algorithm is also known as deadlock avoidance algorithm used for deadlock detection and allocate resources safely to each process in the computer system. This algorithm tells that if any system can go into a deadlock or not by analyzing the currently allocated resources and the resources required by it in the future. So let us go to the next part. Bankers algorithm is named so because it Bankers algorithm is named so because it is used in banking system sanction to check to whether or not. loan can be Meaning, sanctioned bank to a person or not. In such a way that it can no longer satisfy the needs of all its customers. The bank would always try to be productive and hold some money. Data structures that are needed. So let n be the number of processes in the system can be the number of the number of resources types so available 20 array of size m indicating the number of available resources of each type available of j equals to k means there are k instances of resource type rj Max. it is a 2d array of size n into m that defines the maximum demand of each process in a system max of ij equals to k means process i may request at most k instances of resource type rj allocation it is a 2d array of size n into m that defines the number of resources of each type currently allocated to each process allocation ij equals to k means process p has currently allocated k instances of resource type rj addition of i specifies the resources currently allocated to process pi need it is a 2d array of size n into m that indicates the remaining resource need of each process need of ij equals to k means process i currently needs k instances of resource type I. rj need of ij equals to max of ij minus allocation of ij need of i specifies the additional resources that process pi may still request to complete its task so let us proceed to the next one finish of i 1d array of length n to check whether the process has finished or not it contains boolean values like true or false now next one is request request of i be the request array for process pi request of i of j equals to k where k means process pi wants k instances of resource type rj when requested for resources by process pi this one is re required in resource request algorithm bankers algorithm consists of safety algorithm and resource request algorithm we will see in the next slides advantages of bankers algorithm it contains various resources that meet the requirements of each process each process provides information to the operating system for upcoming resource request the number of resources and how long the resource will be held helps the operating system manage and control process request for each type of resource in the computer system algorithm has a max resource attribute that indicates each process can hold the maximum number of resources in a system now let us see disadvantages so it requires a fixed number of processes and no additional processes can be started in the system while executing the process algorithm does no longer allows the processes to exchange its maximum needs while 
processing its task. Each process has to know and state their maximum resource requirement in advance for the system. The number of resource requests can be granted in a finite or constrained time, but the time limit for allocating the resources is one year. Safety algorithm. The algorithm for finding out whether or not a system is in safe state can be described as follows. Step 1. Let work and finish be vectors of length m and n respectively. Initialize work equals true available and finish of i equals to false for all the process that is i equals to 1 2 3 4 or till n step 2 find an i such that both finish of i equals to false and need of i is less than equal to work if no such i exists go to step 4 step 3 work equals to work plus allocation of i finish of i equals to true and go to step 2 if finish of i equals to true for all i, then the system is in safe state. So let us see the next resource request algorithm. So when a request for resources is made by process of pi, the following actions are taken. We will check whether the request of i is less than equal to need. Go to step 2 otherwise raise an error condition. Since the process has exceeded its maximum claim. Step 2 is less than equal to available go to step 3 otherwise pi must wait since the resources are not available step 3 have the system pretend to have allocated the requested resources to process pi by modifying the state as follows available is gonna be decreasing by the request it is available equals to available minus request of i then allocation is gonna be increased so allocation of i equals to allocation of i plus request of I and need is going to be decreased of the process. So need of I equals to need of I minus request of I. Okay. After applying this algorithm, if the system is in safe state, the resources are allocated to process PI. If the system is in unsafe state, process PI must wait and the whole resource allocation state is restored. Example. So here is one example of question that you will get. So consider a system that contains five processes P0, P1, P2, P3, P4 and the three resource types A, B, C, D and the four resource types A, B, C and D. Answer the following questions using the banker's algorithm. What is the reference of the need matrix? Determine if the system is in safe, is safe or not. Give safe sequence. What will happen if the resource request 0420 for process P1? Can the system accept this request immediately? So here is the question. We have been given allocation max and available. So we will find the total. Total equals to available plus allocation and need equals to max minus allocation. So let us first of all find the need. So reference of the need matrix. So need of i equals to max of i minus allocation of i. So I have already returned the values. So here for p0. 1 minus 1 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. For P1, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 7 minus 0 is 7, 5 minus 0 is 5, 0 minus 0 is 0. For P2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, 6 minus 4 is 2. For P3, 0 minus 0 is 0, 6 minus 6 is 0, 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. P4, 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 minus 0 is 6, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 6 minus 4 is 2. So we have calculated the need matrix over here. Let us go to the total part. The total of i equals to available of i plus allocated of i. So now let us calculate the total in the a section. 1 plus 1 plus 1 that we got from the available. So total 3. Now let us go to the allocated of b. So that is 9. 9 plus available that is 5 so total is 14 allocated of c so 1 6 9 10 and available are 2 total 12 so let us calculate for d 2 plus uh, oh that is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 0 is 12 only total 
we have calculated the total of ABC resources. So apply the banker's algorithm now. Available resources of A, B, C, and D are 1520. Now we check if each type of resource request is available for each process. So work equals to available equals to 1520. Also, finish of i equals to false, 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 false. Or i equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are set as false as none of these processes have been executed. Let's go to the step one. E equals to zero. Finish of i equals to false. True. Both. So let us check for the second condition. Need of P0 is less than or equal to work. Zero, 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 zero. Zero is less than or equal to one, five, two, zero. So true. Work equals to work plus allocation of P0. So 1520 plus 0012 is 1532. After P0 has been finished, it will release resources. So finish becomes true, false, 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 false. P0 is in safe sequence now. So let us go to step 2. At i equals to 1, finish of 1 equals to false. So let us check the second condition. Need of P1 less than equal to work. 0750 less than equal to 1532 false so p1 has to wait step 3 let i equals to 2 finish of t2 equals to false need of p2 is less than equal to work 1002 less than equal to 1532 true both the conditions are true so it's gonna be executed so work equals to work plus allocation of p2 1532 plus 1354 work equals to 2886 P2 finishes will release resources. So finish equals to true, false, true, false, false. And save sequence becomes P0, P2. So let us go to the next step. So let i equals to 3. Finish of 3 equals to false. And first condition is true. Need of P3 less than equal to work. So 0020 is less than equal to 2886. True. Work equals to work plus allocation of P3. 2886 plus 0632 that is equal to 241118. After P3 finishes, it will release resources and finish becomes true false, true true false, and save sequence becomes P0, P2, P3. Let us go to the next step. Let i equals to 4, finish of 4 equals to false. This condition true. Need of P4 less than equal to work 0642 less than equal to 241118. Second condition also true, so process is executed. Work equals to work plus allocation of P4. 21411.8 plus 0014. So 21412. 12. After P4 finishes, it will release resources and finish becomes true false, true true true, and save sequence becomes P0, P2, P3, P4. So let us go to the next step. At i equals to 1 because it was remaining. Finish of 1 equals to false. Need of P1 less than equal to work 0750 less than equal to 214.12.12. True. So work equals to work plus allocation of P1. 214.12.12 plus 1000 that is 314.12. Want to uh, check your answer. This last work should be equal to the total of the resources that we calculated earlier. So both are same. So the answer is correct. After P1 finishes, it will release resources and finish becomes true, 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 and save sequence becomes P0, P2, P3, P4, P1. Now let us go ahead. So, if a request from process P1 arises for 0420, can it be granted immediately? So, first of all, we will check the conditions according to the resource request algorithm. First step request of P1 should be less than or equal to need of P1. 0420 less than equal to 0750, which is true. So let us proceed to the next step. Request of P1 should be less than equal to available of P1. 0420 less than equal to 1520, which is also true. So let us go to the next step. Then system pretends to fulfill request, then modify request allocation state as follows. So we have to make changes in available allocation and need. Available and need is going to be decreased and allocation of P1 is going to be increased because we have granted that request. So let us proceed. So available equals to available minus request of P1. 
1520 minus 0420. So new available will be 1100. Allocation of P1. And equals to allocation of P1 plus request of P1 because we have granted it. So 1000 plus 0420 equals to 1420. Need of P1. Equals to need of P1 minus request of P1. Need is going to be decreased 0750 minus 0420 equals to 0330. Let us input this is in table. So we have updated in the location of end need of P1, and we have also updated that available. So now, after applying this algorithm, if the system is in safe state, the resources are allocated to process P1. If the request system is in unsafe state, process P1 must fit, and the whole resource allocation state is restored. Let us do the program so I have already written the bankers dot C first of all you have to include the header file stdi.h then define max is 10 global variable then int m comma n the number of resources and processes then total of max available of max allocation of max maximum resources array as max and max Need as max and max, work equals work with size max, finish with size max, sequence with size max, and request with size max. So, first of all, let us go to the int main, int ij, or pn, that is process number. So, first of all, we will go to the accept function call. So let us go over here. Int i comma g enter number of processes scan f n so we have inputted the number of processes in n int f enter number of resource types so uh, it's going to be stored in variable m enter total number of resource of each resource type so for this we have written the character over here and then total number of Resources of each resource type. Now, int f the enter number of allocated resources of each resource type by each process. So, that process and number, and then which resource and this part is of resource, and then in values of that allocation matrix. So, enter number of maximum resources of each resource types by each process so for loop int f that process over here and then resource name a b c or d and scan the values of the maximum now let me just collapse this function this is very convenient so i'm just gonna press minus over the void accept body now let's go to the int main again Write comments after the functions that we have seen. So calculate available. So int i j comma s and make this for loop is equals to zero. Na equals to zero i less than n i plus plus. So s plus equals to allocation and available of j equals to total of j minus s means available is gonna be total minus allocated. So s is the variable that is storing the value of the allocated. Now let us go to the next next part of what int min. Calculate need. Instead for loop, the need of ij equals to max ij minus allocated of ij. Yes what we calculated earlier now let us proceed to the next one print so let us go to the print part print ij location tab max tab need session new line so three times each for allocation maximum need print f is resources a, B, C, and D.
All right, the process now. This is this is gonna be printing process and allocation matrix then maximum matrix and then need matrix. and available. Now 65 plus J will print A, B, C and D for four resources and then for j equals to 0 j less than m j plus plus available is going to be printed now let me just collapse this and let us go again to int main on the banker now so over here ij equals to 0 finish of i equals to 0 as none of the processes have been completed back of i equals to available of j that's what we did earlier so while let us go to the check now int i comma j and s because the size of the or the number of resources is gonna be copied to i do while till the end of the number of resources if not a finish of i means every element of the finish array should be false then for j equals to 0 j less than m j plus plus Need should be less than equal to work or else break. So I am just gonna write greater than work and then break over here. Okay. If j double equals to m, then return i. And then proceed to, to the element which was remaining. For example, in the earlier example, uh, p1 was remaining and we completed till p4. Because of this only, we went over to p1 again and proceeded. The banker's algorithm while i is not equal to s means till the string till the end of the resources so let us proceed ahead <coughs> so now let's go start this is pi that is requesting and if the process request is granted, then there will be updation in work, allocation and need. So, now we have to print the finish vector. So, make for loop till the end of the number of processes and print it. And then work. J equals to 0, J less than M. And work array sequence k plus 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 to i so i's value will be stored in save sequence and of k and then i equals to i plus 1 modulo n so that we don't exceed the number of processes we have for example if one loop has been completed till the last process but we have p0 and p2 as false so it's gonna be going back to p0 then execute it then go to the p2 and execute it so let us go over here if k double equals to n then system is in safe state then safe sequence is printed by this safe sequence is printed by sequence of j else the system is not in safe sequence okay and then slash in. we have printed. completed the safe sequence so now let us proceed to the resource request algorithm so printf to check the request can be granted or not enter process number so pno variable is gonna contain my process number then I'll enter resource request of process pno that we have entered so it's gonna give the resource element as a b c and d and request array is gonna be entered and first of all we have to check whether the request is less than equal to need or not so if request of j is greater than need of j then break out of it and don't complete the process and then next process next thing is we have to check whether request is less than equal to available or not so if request of j is greater than available then break out of it so if both are true and the size of the request 
and the size of the number of resources are same then proceed ahead of request less than equal to need and request less than equal to available then proceed to this section so if j double equals to m for j equals to m j less than m j plus plus available of j equals to available of j minus request of j available is going to be decreased then allocated of pno of j is going to be increased because we have granted the request and need of the process is going to be decreased because we have granted the request and print and banker so we have to call the banker once again to check whether the system is in safe state or not and then print print it in pd form else process p1 pno that we have entered must wait else we have to check whether the request number of resources are less than equal to the resources available or not otherwise they would be exceeding their maximum claim so we have to write each and every functions systematically so that we won't get confused and it will be easier for us to understand the code now let us run the program so no errors let us run this so enter number of process five enter enter number of resource types so four enter total number of resources of each resource type so a three b b was fourteen so let us write a equals to three b equals to fourteen c equals to twelve and d equals to twelve enter number of allocated resources of each resource type by each process so for p0 a equals to 0 0 1 2 for p1 it was 1 0 0 0 for p2 it was 1 3 5 4 for p3 it was 0 6 3 2 for P4 it was 0014. Enter number of maximum resources of each resource type by each process. So 0, 0, 1, 2 of P0. Then for P1 it was 1750. For P2 it was 2, 3, 5, 6. So 2, 3, 5, 6. For P3 it was 0652. So for P3 I'm gonna write 0652. For P4 it was 0656. So for P4 0656. So we get save sequence as P0, P2, P3, P4, P1. So let us check with the previous answer that we got manually. So so let us proceed with the request algorithm so I have entered the process number as 1 so enter resource request of process p1 so in the question that we solved it was 0420 and we got the save sequence as p0 p2 p3 p4 p1 and it has updated the values in the allocation need and the available so we have completed the bankers algorithm here Thank you guys for watching the video and like, share and subscribe and also comment down below if you are having any doubts.